What's up guys, this is Average Skill Model 77 finally making another video. It's been a while, but that's because um, I took this kit to my dad's house to build over there during spring break, and I forgot to get my uh, phone stand so I can put it on and record, and I didn't want to make any shaky update videos. So I just decided to just build it up completely and then show you all in the final reveal. So here it is. Now, uh, this probably is a surprise because I didn't do any updates, but this is the Tamiya... Devotine D520 in 148th scale, and this is the kit that comes with the staff car as well as three figures. You can also just get the kit with the plane, but I got the special uh, kit that comes with all this other stuff. Um, and I have to say, the plane was probably the best model kit assembly-wise uh, that I that I ever built. It went together really well. All the fits were nice, and uh, yeah, it was just like just a great assembly. I guess that's what they mean by a Tamiya build. I never really built a Tamiya kit before, but I see why everyone likes them. They're really nice. Um, the decals were okay. I know some people said the quality weren't that good, and I do see where they're coming from. Some of the decals were okay, but mm, a lot of them didn't fit, especially the red stripes. They didn't want to wrap around the, uh, the tail. Uh, some of them were too big, like the rudder decal right here. It just uh, stuck out a little bit too much. So you did have to trim that up with a razor. So that's unfortunate, but I did manage to blend up the red really nicely where the yellow was sticking through where it tore. So you really can't tell the red part. Um, the exhaust went together fine. A uh, really nice fit. You just put it, uh, the exhaust have a pin on it and there's a hole in the cowling. You just stick it in there and it's fine. The flaps can be positioned uh, down or up. All right, and uh, oh, can't talk today. And the canopy can be positioned open or closed if you want. The back I just left gray. So um, I just didn't feel like uh, painting that because a lot of these colors for the French plane, you had to mix like a two to one ratio for them, and I really didn't have the money or patience for that. So I just picked up Intermediate Blue for the blue color. It's supposed to be kind of a sea gray with light blue in it. But you know, I didn't want to mix that, like I said. So I just took a Intermediate Blue, I took Model Master Dark Green, and then Model Master, no, sorry. And then Tamiya Red Brown for the brown. It said to use X10 Flat Brown, but it was a little too dark. And also I can use Red Brown for German Armor. So I just decided to get two birds with one stone. The staff car was okay, like I said before. Um, really no bad fit issues. Uh, you did have to hold down the bottom part when you attach the top. But um, really not too bad. The decals were nice on the car. There's only about two, I think. Two or three. And they went just fine. The interior is really nice. It comes with a speedometer decal. So that's a nice touch. I like that. Um... Yeah, I mean, this was a really great build. I really enjoyed it. The decals, like I said, were a little bit tedious. Um, some of the decals did suck, but nothing that couldn't be fixed with a little touch-up painting. Uh, one thing I did have problems with was uh, were these stripes right here. On the decal placement guide, these stripes were just straight, but the decal was, you know, as you can see, bent. So I don't know if I was supposed to wrap that around on the bottom, the curved part on the bottom. But on the decal placement sheet, it went all the way from the flap up here, so I don't know. Um, also, there's supposed to be these uh, stripes on the bottom as well, but it just didn't work with the landing gear. I don't know what I did wrong, but it just didn't really work out. So, you know, it's whatever. That's the way it goes. Let's talk about a little bit about this diorama that I built. Um, pretty straightforward. I'm not the best diorama builder. This is uh, kind of the first one I did. That's just not flat. I added some uh, terrain up here. I wanted to get the road to be kind of curved like that. So I just took some cardboard and then laid it on the bottom and then put the mud on top of that. And you get kind of a nice slope. It really uh, stands out from just the plain ground. So I really like that. Um, I did have trouble getting this grass to stick. It's a citadel scorched earth is the grass. Um, I guess uh, the mixture with the glue and the water just wasn't strong enough, didn't have enough glue. So it didn't really want to stick the first time. I still don't think I uh, got it to adhere correctly. And I do have some uh, spots along the corners and edges right here where the grass didn't stick. But um, 
you know, it still looks good to me. I really like this build. I'm not really gonna continue with it. I'm gonna call it done. And um, start working on that flame panzer again because the assembly's almost complete. So um, I really wanna start painting that because that's gonna be a lot of fun. So with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. I hope y'all enjoy this build. I hope you guys like the diorama and I'll catch you again later. Bye.